So, it's Halloween night, and you and your family just got back home from trick-or-treating. Or, you are currently going on, or on a trick-or-treating quest. Well, here are seven safety rules to help you stay safe during trick-or-treating and after trick-or-treating. Number one, never trust strangers. If you or a loved one, especially young ones, is naive enough to fall for a trick more than a treat, then you're probably in some deep trouble. Be sure to watch your child at all times. There are serial killers and madmen out there who will take your child away from you. Number two, always check your candy. The last thing you want to see when you go back home is the gut is a loved one on the floor after eating candy but not checking it. I recommend staying away from from bags full of random candies or candy bag or candy packets that have been sealed back or that are o still open. Always be sure to look out for thumbtacks, needles, and other and other sharp things that could pierce somebody's tongue while eating. Number 3. Always Stay away from houses that are not lit. This applies to everyone except Owen Wilson, because the, the track is always lit for him. If you ever go on trick or treat, if you ever go trick or treating, and you see a dark house, yet somebody is still there, I recommend you skip that house, because that could very well be the last house you ever visit. Also, this is not anything personal towards anybody who dresses like this, but stay away from- I recommend you stay away from people who dress really raggedy or really sketchy, because, you know, there are stereotypes out there, okay? Just- just be careful when, when you're around those people, okay? Number four, watch your back. When it gets dark out, you may not be, be able to see anything from behind you. From what you know, somebody could be chasing you. Or a car could come up from behind you and not be able to see you because it's head because the driver has not repaired the headlights yet. Whatever the cause of a near demise, always wear reflective clothing. It could save your life. Emphasis on could because some people are absolute retards. Number four, pay attention to all safety signs. This applies to all you drivers out there who don't really give a crap about signs. But I do warn you that you may run over a, a child or a few, or maybe the whole block, if you're not careful. Don't drink any beer while, while cruising through the streets on Halloween. Don't smoke, which that's another point I shall bring up. And most importantly, always, always, always have your headlights on. I don't care if you have your brights on, just... Just go out there and be safe while you're driving, okay? Okay. Number six on the list, please, just please, for the sake of everything, please, just please, this is probably the worst thing somebody could do. Please do not smoke when giving out candy. It could probably be somebody's demise, for all you know. Besides, somebody could be allergic to the to the carbon dioxide you give off. It applies to campfires. Keep them at a minimum. So you, for all you know, you could wind up giving somebody pink eye or clogging up their lungs. And finally, at number seven, this is probably the most important one, set a schedule. In order to have the best Halloween night and the best experience in general, you need to set up a schedule to be safe. After all, you don't, if it's a school night, like, you know, tonight, then you, you may or may not, uh, but I recommend you would, set up a timer for certain events. After all, you could wind up wasting your time. But what the- Oh, uh, why is the light on? Freddy, it's ten o'clock! Go to bed! What? You're not the boss of me! <sighs> Stay safe, guys.